Hi, welcome into my channel. In this channel, I want to say that we can go to the stars and the stars are not what you are like until this hour and not that far that you are believing at this hour. But in this video, I take on some girl from internet <coughs> that <coughs> Dr. Becky, she is like, she is liking to say that it is a doctor. James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. And I think when they were first released yesterday, we were all just a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit lost for words. So I'm, I mean, I'm going to tell you my credential. I have a, a license in philosophy. I study philosophy, like a college degree of philosophy, okay? And I study also physics in European Union, in Romania. So my credentials, I discover many things. But now I want to take on a video that she made about five pictures uh, from Webb James Space Telescope. So in this video, I cut it in five uh, parts. Like, she is not to bl be blamed. Everybody says like this all over the internet, but it is far science. And I don't care how she took her doctorate or something, but she is wrong. But now let me tell you about Stefan Quintet. So I broke his her, uh, her video in uh, five pieces. And but also see this giant bright thing which is the, the thing that got me most excited because what this is is a growing supermassive black hole at the very center of this galaxy essentially there is hydrogen gas spiraling around this black hole which is accelerated to huge speeds so that it gets incredibly hot and it starts to glow especially in infrared wavelengths as well making it incredibly bright when miri looks at it and revealing it in all of its glory now so this is the first part about Stefan Quintet. Stefan Quintet, first of all, she says, so she says that in the middle of some of the galaxy, there is a black hole. But I want to, I want to tell you like this, you will listen carefully, do be not dazzled, that she is beautiful or something. Do be not, do not, do not be not dazzled, okay? She is not, saying any science, nothing, only a poem, a bad poem that like all over the internet exists. So, but let me tell you like this, she says that in the middle of that galaxy there is a black hole. And I'm telling, I'm telling you, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah the prophet at uh, chapter 5 says, do not put light for darkness and darkness for light. Isaiah chapter 5 Vow unto the, them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. So, I put to you the passage from the Bible. Do not put light for darkness and darkness for light. Stephen Hawking did this and you say, so, see what happened to him? Stephen put light for darkness and darkness for light. Did you see what happened to, to Stephen Hawking? So let me tell you, you will listen carefully. She does not say any signs, not nothing. So why did, but I will explain to you, why they invented that in the middle of the galaxies, there is a black hole, why? Because they are already believe. If you listen now, you will understand science. I will tell you science. She does not, okay? But I will tell you science. They say that in the middle of the galaxy so, must be something massive, like a big, massive, giant. They like to say like super massive. That there are not <clears throat> words to describe how big they like to describe this stuff. Okay, big, super massive. So why 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 they started this? They say that gravity, science, science, okay, gravity is attraction. So, so they believe that <clears throat> gravity being attraction, they are explaining that, that all like this, they're orbiting. The stars are orbiting. So they believe in that it is attraction. In the middle, there be, there must be a big mass that every star to gravitate, surrounded. I'm telling you science, okay? She does not. 
So what I'm telling you, gravity is not attraction. Gravity means exactly to rotate and it's not, it is not a force due to mass of attraction. It's a heating force that has something to do with the mass like this. Force equal mass time acceleration. Be, be, you, you put G, big G before, uh, instead of F and small G instead of A, a, a specific acceleration. So they were lying that gravity is attraction. This will solve all that she says, if you understand. So it being attraction, the bigger body of mass must attract B. So they invented that in the middle of this galaxy, there is a big, bassy, black something, but it is white and it's producing light, okay? So, so that's why they invented that black holes have this sufficient mass to keep in orbit this, these stars. And I'm telling you, watch my previous videos, black holes do not exist. But both to them would put light be, be, instead of darkness. There is clearly light in, in, in the middle of that galaxy. So there is light, there is not darkness. You cannot make from light darkness. Next up, my personal favorite of all the images released, Stefan's Quintet. But maybe I'm biased because I study galaxies and they're growing supermassive black holes and this is exactly what this image shows. This is a very dense cluster of five galaxies about 250 million light years away that are all interacting. And JWST has essentially revealed the effects of that interaction. So here again, we have a composite image. So it's both what near cam sees in the near infrared seeing through the dust of the stars in the galaxies overlaid with what Miri sees where you see the dust glowing in those mid-infrared wavelengths. What it is the black hole if you see every light that you see you call black hole. What it is a black hole? Because it's producing light like normal light. Infrared is light. It's a, it's a light. Okay so Infrared of not it is it is so that's why they invented that in the middle there's so I'm telling you right now what it is in the middle it is a star because because galaxies are star stars she was she is wondering how how well sees uh, every point it is a star in what sense by identifying the stars with the sun, by identifying the stars with the sun, you are believing that that the star must produce flame, but this this is not producing flame. So, so she is saying also interpreting, but not seeing any science, some like news stuff that that did in this that galaxy. Uh, there are some. There are some uh, gas, gas and stuff. She does not, uh, she is not interested. But in that clouds, there's, there's written molecular hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Because it is a cloud made from hydrogen, oxygen cloud, like in the sky and like in the night sky and the piece extract light from there. And they are static. If you want to understand what gravity is, watch my previous videos. I explained to you in great length what gravity is. Gravity is not attraction. It's a circular force, a circular force of a rotating force by area. So this will not produce black hole. And so another word that she is using is interaction. Interaction. Inter what? How does the, does the galaxy interact? How? So through gravity, what you understand that you must understand gra gravity. When they invented it from the earth before 90s, they were saying, be, they were saying that there is expansion, okay? Be, but be, after Hubble was sent in space, the, the Hubble Space Telescope, they were talking that it is expansion, it is expansion, everything it expands, expands, expands. And by Hubble was taking the first pictures, they were showing that in each picture there are a group like this Stefan Quinten, Quinten. And you will watch this every picture from Hubble and James Webb because James Webb will film the same spaces like Hubble. 
because our galaxy is a sphere and they will film the same places and 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 after they they got the pictures from Hubble telescopes they they saw that in each picture exist you will watch this in each picture exist three four five six seven this kind that they they call galaxies one close to another one close to another so where is the beauty for example expansion after 19 they wondered because the galaxies are like this where is it 90 percent of the galaxies are near one to another so where is the expansion if 90 percent this falsifies science with 90 90 percent 90 percent of the galaxy are one close to another so where is the beautiful expansion nowhere nowhere okay so 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 she says interaction and i'm telling you how how they say afterwards they say that this expansion is this it is pulled on brakes by gravity gravity does not pull the brakes because it's not attraction i'm telling you gravity does not attract and it does not pull on brakes so because if if you if you watch this galaxy going apart but it, because the, the expansion theory said this and then you observe one close to another you must say how they get one close to another and they say that through attraction the expansion was not sufficient to stop the power of attraction the gravity is not attraction so so they are stupid okay and i'm telling you science you are telling you science and she does not okay so the the expansion was not powerful to stop the the expansion and and the gravity that it is attraction of the galaxy brought them together in 90 percent of the cases i'm telling you they are one near another one near another in, in in each picture that you observe galaxies are close to another and i'm telling you since the moment gravity is not attraction how why are one close to another so if the expansion was consumed the, the power of the galaxy brought them together to interact she says like interact what they are doing between them what interaction so so now if you understand this galaxy are static pieces like this are the stars or are there and like this like this and i'm telling you you can falsify science, you will be stuck in love for the next generation. You will be to left off. Or we cannot see the universe, only our galaxy that has one day with the speed of light. You cannot put in a mirror or in one day with the speed of light. They they forget even this. You see, I put myself in a mirror, the light diminishes with distance. You see, and it makes point in, in one meter here. So she says that it is 215 million years. Light diminishes with distance. Look, bigger from, from close, smaller immediately. There are pictures from NASA on the on the earth from the moon like a tennis like this i i, I told you <clears throat> and the thing that blew my mind the most was that you can see individual stars in this galaxy on the left hand side it is absolutely unreal that it can do that like if you think about how small those stars actually are at that huge distance it really showcases how powerful jwst actually is so our galaxy it is a sphere I'm telling you the truth with the radius one day with the speed of light. Copernic put the sun in the middle, in the middle of this sphere that the false fire that it aspired. So that galaxies are pieces like this, millions of, of metal pieces and crystal pieces submerge in the cloud like in night size she says that it is not important whatever there is there but it's a hydrogen molecular and oxygen molecular and they extract light like you put this in the cloud because through the clouds it is passing light unseen light 
electromagnetic uh, field that surrounds our galaxy through pole to a pole, to a pole to a pole, that it is circular and ignites that species that are made from metals and from crystals. You are wondering why the uh, uh, why some alloy produce light? Look, it produces light. Does not make fusion. Does not producing bombs and fusion and atomic and any fusion that is not existing. Our sun, even it is made from metal, filmed by NASA. But they are stupid. They stupid like this. They are not watching even the the NASA channel. They was a mission. They filmed the sun. There is many ions of iron, ion 13, 13 missing electrons and they stay stupid, they say that the, the produces some fusion like in the old days through hydrogen to, uh, that is, does not exist in science so you are wondering why this produce light, you are stupid if you are saying that the light is produced through fusion between hydrogen and so, but it is important because what they filmed then as the spectroscopy is telling you that there are clouds like in a cloud, vapor cloud and there is an electromagnetic field that goes from pole to pole and it is crossing through the solar system even. This is I believe the cause that maintains the orbits of the planet. It's a circular field produced by this back of the galaxy that is full of hydrogen, well, hydrogen molecular and oxygen gases. And there is a source circuit from light that it is going through a pole through a pole and ignite the species that are like this. And they are small. They identify own every pitch piece of this, it is the sun, it is not. And it is not even a star, but the stars are small and cold that merging in clouds and that produce. So, so if the gravity is not attraction, how the Stephen Quintet galaxy stay one near another? How do they stay one near another? They are not going anywhere. They are static pieces like this. Made from clouds, you can see them in the picture and some small pieces, million pieces. And it is a, a, a circuit from there. And what you are seeing black, it is not over the clouds, but you are not. Pro they are not producing. They are not. They they do not have pieces in them like this to produce my life. So, what where do you see that it is over the galaxy? The clouds are not over because the black stuff it is not empty like void. Like you are being tricked. It is not even void through our solar system. There was this feather experiment from NASA, and they saw that there is uh, energy throughout our solar system and they say even boy like they want to be stupid so so where you are seeing the galaxy it is not the end of galaxy and that is a cloud of gas that gas it it is it is illuminated by the energy and the 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 energy does not produce light all over it, the place that black stuff is not void our galaxy is a sphere Inside it, there's a solar system with all the planets. And from Pluto, there's 30 hours the speed of light. And, and there are put like stars and galaxies that are stars. That they are stars like this. You can also see that in the space between the galaxies, there's this glowing dust that's obviously been torn off these bottom two galaxies. And also up here too, in this galaxy, it causes this galaxy to look like what's known as a jellyfish galaxy, which are some of my absolute favorites. And then if you just look at what Miri saw alone, it's especially spectacular as well. It shows the structure in the dust in these galaxies, which is also really important for knowing, well, where a star is going to form in these dusty regions. You can also spot a dwarf galaxy here overlaid with this big one. And the gravity is not attraction. And then I'm asking you if you have a peace of mind left in your head. If gravity does, it is not attraction. Why that galaxy interact with, with one each, each another? And do not lie to me that you are astrophysicist. You explain to me how two bodies approach. Or, or if, 
if they do not have any mechanical movement. And if they have mechanical movement and you falsify and say that the mechanical movement is due to the gravity attraction, you are being wrong. So if you want to find what the gra gravity is, you watch my previous videos. So what I explained to you, what is the Stephen Quintet? There, there's a group, static group inside our galaxy. They are not galaxy like sci-fi movies. You must wake up from this vision from sci-fi movies. 1950s, Star Trek 1950s movies. There are not stars surrounding by, by the, the planets in there. And there are pieces like this and they are producing light. And gravity is a rotated field and it is not attraction or force field. Force field, hitting force field, like this. Hitting force field. I don't care what degrees do you have, okay? You are being wrong and false. So Stephen Quintet, like any galaxies, there are cumulus of static pieces putting clouds of matter that it is the board of our galaxy. Our galaxy is a sphere surrounded by clouds like in the night sky, like in a fog. And you will, in every picture you will see hydrogen, oxygen, molecular gases, and even combined hydrogen, oxygen. And, and they are producing light and the pieces extract light from them. I know the images are possibly the most exciting part for everyone else, but for me, I got excited by the spectrum of light from this growing supermassive black hole that Miri took as well. You actually split the light into its component wavelengths and you see these peaks where you've got this glowing gas, either from hydrogen or neon or whatever it might be orbiting that black hole. This is what actually allows us to get at the mass of the supermassive black hole as well. Plus we also have what's known as a data cube. We don't just get a spectrum at every pixel, but we can also think about it as getting an image at every single wavelength as well. So you can isolate just the molecular hydrogen, so H2, two atoms of hydrogen bonded together, and say, where is that in the galaxy? And you, and you can see that this hydrogen has made this ring around the supermassive black hole as well. That was absolutely amazing to see. Like we have never ever seen data like that before because we've never had a mid-infrared instrument on a telescope that's had that resolving power to see such small and detailed things on the sky. So I feel like that got lost in the live stream yesterday a little bit, but personally it was my favorite thing to come out of all of the science images that were dropped yesterday. There, and you, you will have, you do not have vision. You do not have like this, you are lying. And I'm telling you science. So if you want to be dazzled, but I'm telling you again from the Bible, Stephen Hawking falsified that light is darkness and darkness is light. You watched what happened to him, okay? I've told you. I've told you. I've told you real science, okay? And if you want to be dazzled, like she's beauty, it's beautiful. My male, like this, she got the degree, I don't care, okay? But she's presenting no science. And everybody on the internet says like this, but they are presenting no science. And I'm telling you that are not gravitational systems. They are stars, simply stars, simply stars. They are stars, a group of stars material that produce light. We can produce light from neon gas to every known means, not through fusion. And you falsify that with, with, with some physics that does not exist, we produce light, not through fusion. We produce light, electromagnetic light, with, but from gases and you are lying by the profusion that does not exist on this planet, a paper, a correct paper to fuse hydrogen in, in rocks. So stop lying. So Stephen Quartet, it is like this. Five individual pieces, they are not planets there and they are not stars like our sun. And they are not gravitational systems and they are static. Each telescope in the, this world that will be, will film the same places in the sky. Because in, even at this hour it is filmed in 24 hours uh, around our Earth. It is made a sphere, like uh, Earth being the center. This is how they film it, not I, okay? So, so they put like this squares, they cut squares and they name the cadrans, like 
in degrees and hours, if you know, I'm telling science, and each telescope in this world that will be from, from, from Hubble 90s until the end of this galaxy hours, the single galaxy that we can see in this universe. Let's see what is beyond. We can beyond. We can reach the stars. We'll film the same places because nothing in this expanding and everything is static, fixed. 10% of the stars are moving, maximum, maximum, from, and the galaxies are like this. Goodbye, God bless, stop, stop naming light darkness, darkness, light, light, this. I'm telling you, we can go to the stars, let's colonize these planets, we can reach the planets. If you are lying with false science, we can reach the planets, they are important. If we were going to be in some spherical galaxy that it is ours, with the sun in the middle, and only our planet, and, and, and only one planet, let's say at, at Jupiter distance, and we'll know that only one planet exists, you will go, you will want to go, you will want to find what it is there, only one planet. And it will be important. Let's see, let's colonize because we have seven planets and and many hundreds of satellites that are good for, for living, like bigger than islands. There are people on islands on this earth. And if you are saying that these galaxies are 250 billion, you are years, light years, you are falsifying science you cannot put in a telescope. It will only one day with the speed of light. And if you are making like this, you are falsifying, you make it not important. And I'm telling you, these planets are important. There are hundreds of satellites of the planet, we can, we can colonize them. And they are important. But we can even make like a sci-fi movies at the stars, like it is International Space Station. We can make a station at the stars. Because 20 hours and you will reach the stars. 20 hours with the speed of light. I calculated this. But not through some magical interaction, attraction, interaction. What is the equation of interaction in physics? What is the equation of interaction in physics? And I'm telling you, this is by area, Newton. From Newton book, the gravity, vectorial gravity. So we can put a star like this space night. You can put some at the star because stars are cold like we have with the International Space Station, but we'll reach there 90 years maybe, with our current technology, but we can reach the stars and stop lying, and let's see what is beyond this galaxy. You are being tricked and dazzled by this kind of, of, of people all over the internet. And, and they say no science. Let's, let's colonize Mars, because it is, it is important. We are you are enclosed in this sphere surrounded by clouds and we do not know what it is beyond this sphere. We do not know the universe. So, so if you believe me or not, I'm not want bad stuff. I want to call it, but this girl and this kind of, they're lying and you are listening. Why? Because they have some false doctorates, took on black matter and a dark energy and neutrinos. I'm saying like a T science, this is a apple and soluble tea. This is the way I made my videos. Stop naming darkness light and light darkness.